Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also a welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play. I have not talked to you in about a week so first of all of course I hope you're all doing well and then second of all in case you haven't seen this island just yet or you just need a little refresher this is Callan which is supposed to be a romantic coastal retreat um, and I'm walking through one of the finished areas right now because the next one that I want to work on today is kind of adjacent to this so it makes sense to kind of do a little recap. So basically, we have Tutu and Flurry living over here. They own a little bakery together. And then this kind of leads over to our Hyacinth Lake. So we have this big lake. There's also um, a little viewing platform or like viewing spot right here. And then this entire lake has a bunch of hyacinths planted around it. It's supposed to be a very um, calming and a very just rejuvenating kind of area on this island. And as we were getting closer to kind of, yeah, finishing this path that kind of just is like a little windy playing path through the trees, I was like, okay, I don't know what to do here because this is a lot of open space. Um, this is kind of Flurry's house uh, or like behind Flurry's house. Um, I already put down all this fencing because I was like, I kind of want to close off the ocean part. Like, I don't think I want it to be open like that. Although maybe slight change of plans in just a second, I will show you why. And then from here on, you will go up the incline and then up another incline. And this will lead you to the museum uh, and then connect back to like um, a neighborhood and so on and so forth. Apart from that, like there's still a bunch of uh, like unfinished things to the bottom left. But this is kind of like the surrounding bits of what I want to work on today. And so I was like, uh, what do we do back here? Because I don't know. This seems to be just like an awkward space. It might just be fillers. But just having fillers like everywhere could be really repetitive, really annoying. And um, some of you in the comments came up with some awesome stuff. And um, one comment I screenshotted because I really liked it. And it said that maybe I can make this space a little like camping area, like kind of a couple's retreat with tents and coolers and maybe like a fire pit or something. And technically, you know, we do have the campsite towards the very start of the island, like right there by the entrance at the very front. But I kind of loved that idea. I thought that was super cute. And then I kept thinking about um, maybe like a movie theater. And so that might be what we do. So today I'd like to work on uh, some pathing, I think, and some maybe general layout. And we're going to focus on this another time. So in case you have any like item ideas or anything that you'd like to see here, definitely, definitely feel free to put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And then we'll build that together some other time. For now, I just got a couple of kids tents out of my storage shed because I thought, you know, if we do kind of a camping area, which like I said, I really like it. I kind of immediately had this image in my head of a couple of like um, picnic blankets and kids tents around it. And then also, yeah, I like the fire pit idea and the outside movie theater. So I also got the projection screen and running past this, I was just thinking, what if we use this little rock extension here just as a little opening? I mean, it's right by like this path. So I don't know if that would be weird and awkward, but like this could literally be the projection screen, of, you know, preferably not with news playing. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. I don't know if there was any like coastal stuff that sometimes plays so that I could actually get like a good screenshot. Oh, but maybe something like this. You know, they're just watching like a romantic comedy or something together. Maybe we even pull it over here. I quite like that too. So maybe just kind of like this. And then uh, so it's more like symmetrical with the um, like more uh, protruding part of the, the rock there. More like out outward protruding rock. Does that make sense? Kind of like this maybe. Or we could maybe also bring it a bit further over to the left as well. I think this also works and then it's not super close to the path, right? And then um, there's probably gonna be like a blanket right here. Okay, I'll turn it off for now. But so potentially this could be, you know, this could be the projection screen. I was also just thinking, I do have some simple wooden fence with me. What does it look like if this was simple wooden fence? So it kind of is that no one, no one can actually like go there. No one can go this close to the screen, but it's kind of still there. We could maybe go for like a, a different color. I don't know if the simple wooden fence exists in white. 
I kind of don't know right now, but this could also be an option or we could put like items here also. I don't know if there's anything because this is three tiles, which is always a bit awkward. Mm, I'm not sure if there's anything like that uh, where hmm, I guess we could like hide that part a little bit more. You know, we could pop, pop like a um, like a table there with something on top of it or something like that or some hedges or we just kind of do the projection screen and the blanket right here or we do a little bit of distance and then the projection uh the projection screen is there obviously and then he, the blanket is kind of a little further back that might be an option but i just think that's kind of a cute idea and then we could use the rest of the space for some um kids tents so i don't know how early on i want to start those i do think it would be much cuter if we probably put them up here um so that they're a little bit outside of all the happenings maybe um oh god this will be a little bit tough with the tree spots but like if we consider tree spots and we do like maybe one here you know then this could be like a kid's tent uh or further further back maybe and then this is like the fire pit actually that might be a tiny bit nicer so like this could be one and then maybe one more to the left you know, just kind of like so, depending on trees. Like I said, I think I'm going to probably uh, work on that a little bit more. And maybe there could actually be another one like right here. So this is kind of where they go for the night. I don't know if I like the pink one. I know we're using pink, you know, I, I don't like it, but I've warmed up to it a little bit for this island for the sake of this island. I don't know if I like it that much. But so this could be a couple of tents, maybe like a fire pit, maybe another one down here. Uh, I don't have more than these right now, so I, I guess this is all I'm going to be able to do. Uh, but maybe like another one there, or we could also maybe squish one in here. And I was just thinking there's this film projector too that could also work. Or maybe one towards the front there. Um, again, I would like there to be enough trees. Do we have the shopping app? We do. Why don't we just go ahead and already order another like kids tent uh, so that I or, you know, future Malene, because it probably won't happen today, but future Malene has these in her um, <laughs> mailbox and hopefully will remember like, oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to use these in the back of the island. I'll also get a couple more striped ones because I think these are quite these are quite nice, especially for our island. Um, I have to say, I've missed building on this island. I was visiting my parents and my sister, and um, therefore I wasn't really playing like pretty much any Animal Crossing, which in and of itself is always like a bit sad or always just makes me miss it a lot. Um, but especially not on Callan because it's obviously my Let's Play Island. And now like talking about it, I really, I really do uh, feel like I totally, like I, I really missed it. Um, I did not miss the mole crickets. Uh, but you know, and then this could even be like a picture frame, like imagine a couple of trees that hopefully help us along with this area. But like this entire thing here could literally be, um, yeah, this could be a picture frame, the campgrounds with, uh, or the couples retreat with, um, the movie theater down here. All right. I like that. I think I like that. So Next up, the main thing I want to do today is lay some pathing. Uh, I was streaming yesterday on Twitch. In case you don't know, I also stream on Twitch. Uh, and we recently started a brand new island that's supposed to be inspired by German countryside, which has been an interesting but very fun project so far. And yesterday, pathing and layout things almost took me down. Uh, they, like, really frustrated me. So I was like, yeah, let's, of course, work on that today. <laughs> but why not, you know? Um, I think we're probably going to include a couple more trees. And by a couple, I mean probably just like one back here so that there is like a little bit more greenery. So I'll probably just go like downwards a tiny bit. Um, like the way I lay pathing sometimes differs. Either I'll stand down and actually use the app from my phone which usually is a bunch like it's actually a lot easier um but if i need to really make my way from like a to b uh, then i will also sometimes just use the tool like this 
and just lay down kind of like the outline, I guess. And then I'll go in with the different pathing pieces. I definitely have a feeling we're gonna do separate pieces here too. Like this is not gonna be one long continuous path, but instead it'll kind of be, um, yeah, some, some patches probably. Uh, but just as like a reference of like, how do I want the path to go? How windy do I want it to be? And so on and so forth. But maybe something like this is okay. And then also, you know, just so we can test it, uh, we could try lay down like a picnic blanket. I guess I want to maybe try this one here. And then I would try to do it symmetrically with the um, screen, which works nicely if we do this layout. And then I think it kind of should actually be quite, uh, quite, quite a big blanket maybe. Maybe kind of like this. And then we could have another tree. Or we push it further against the, the fence in the back there and then... Um, Move a little bit from this part. Here we go. <laughs> it would not let me kick the code away. Dang it. Um. Yeah, I think this still works distance wise. I feel like we're not too far away. <laughs> All right. And then uh, here is the tassels. Or, of course, another option is once again to do the um, the layered blankets. I think I did those over on the other side of the of the lake also. Wait, let me check. I think I did though. I, I vaguely remember running past it earlier in the episode actually. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See, this is also something we could do, um, like layer two blankets and then we could take up a bit more space uh, without having to like symmetrically extend it on all sides. Although this is quite nice. I quite like this. And then maybe, I don't know, let's see uh, if I have the projector because I'm not sure if Future Moline would know this. Um, sometimes I, I, uh, expect too much from her, you know, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but like sometimes when I play Animal Crossing, I'm like, um, oh yeah, no, I'll definitely remember this next time. And then I play next time and I absolutely don't remember. And then I build up the area and I pretty much cover all the tiles so that I have no room left anymore. And then, uh, yeah, at some other point I, I return, I don't know how, wait, which way around does this go? Where does it actually... Oh, wait, there's the projection thing, I think. So it would probably be this way around. Uh, this is a miscellaneous item. So we could just put it on like a... We could put it on like a little table towards the very back here. Maybe this is like an area that Flurry has like set up. Although probably still with the fence. I feel like that's cuter. Um, Yeah, and then at some other point when the area is completely built, I'll kind of run past it. I'm like, wait... Didn't I want to do like this or that here? And then I either just accept my fate and I'm like, okay, well, then I didn't do it. Or I have to take it all down again. And I'm kind of not, I, don't, I kind of don't want to do that. But, you know, anything I, I really remember that I feel like I won't remember in the future, we just put down today. And there we go. All right. And so now I'll take all the corner pieces that might come in handy and I'll put those down wherever really. So like here and here and why don't we just try to do like a continuous path for now um and then we'll see oh god see this is already gonna be weird i guess maybe here here this would be a corner piece uh delhi also joining us today really appreciate it okay wait this wouldn't be one maybe but this would be one. See, and now if I had a cushion there, um, he might actually sit down. And then, I mean, that would be heckin' adorable. So we should really get on that. You know, that should really happen. Generally, I need to I need to remember to make my uh, decorations more accessible for villagers. Because sometimes, like, I start them with good intentions and wanting to have it all accessible. And then I end up just like either I'll have something like a cushion but then I'll put something on top of it you know because food and I want to like include pret pretzels or like donuts or whatever else um wait there's not really donuts in the game is there just the small handheld ones anyway you know what I mean right and then um other times I'll just completely forget and there won't be like a moment to sit down at all mm -hmm. this probably needs a straight piece this is probably a little weird though. 
Actually, wait, this isn't the worst shape of pathing I've done. Oh, I think I kind of like it. Wait, I think I kind of like it. I might not have to break this apart. I have struggled with this path a lot in the past, right? Because I, I remember like, oh, sorry, flower. <laughs> I remember taking like a few of them apart again and again, but this isn't bad. This is not bad. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you just kind of walk in between. I think that's a good idea. Uh, I need to check on that pathing maybe. Or like I said, if you have an idea of what I can do for like covering the movie screen, or maybe I should just pull it forward, or maybe I just plant something in front of it. I can't use the counters because they are interior items only, I think. Oh, but it does exist in white. Okay, wait, let's check out this in white then. And then I will just, oh, sorry, I don't, I don't want to disturb, I don't want to disturb the butterfly um, because Deli seems to be having a lot of fun, but you know. Okay, well, how about we just take it apart a little bit further and then we put something else there to like bridge the gap between these two fences and we just have like another item. Why am I decorating now? I did not want to decorate. It's okay though. It's okay. Every bit of progress is progress, right? Um, I think so. Yeah, but then this would be, oh wait, would that be room for trees? Cause we do, I love trees. We all know that, right? So if I could fit trees, that'd probably be pretty awesome. Zen cushions. Um, I think it can't be like a round table. I think if anything, it would probably need to be something square shaped. Um, oh, I don't know. Everything I can think of right now isn't like perfectly, isn't like perfectly squared. So there would always be weird gaps. Like the, the, I was thinking of the wooden boxes here. I think the wooden boxes kind of leave a little bit of too much room wheat fields i don't know i don't know oh pockets full okay i wanted to try the wooden shop sign like turn backwards all right i guess we're just gonna try a couple of items or if not you know this is just gonna be fencing um all right boxy stool first thing uh, not so great you know what i mean though with the gapping Pile of Zen cushions. These are always pretty wide, but yeah, kind of not great. This would be room for a tree. Truth be told, that would be room for a tree. This would not be though. Yeah, that is not room for a tree. All right, well, good to know. Ah, good start though, I guess. Checkout counter. It's all gonna look weird. I can tell. It's all gonna look weird. Checkout counter. The display stand is very wide, but then why would we have this here? You know? Th this we can use by the museum, but like not here probably. Uh, and then wooden boxes. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, wheat fields, maybe? <laughs> maybe these could be used to cover like some gaps or something, but again, don't really know why all this would be here. Um, maybe I'm also overthinking it. You know, that that is a very real possibility. It's 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 definitely I've definitely done it before, so you know. And then if I put that back though, like that's too much. I think, yeah, we it, either it would need to be the lower fence or just no fence. And then something else. Um, oh, and I forgot that. Yeah, I still can pull these forward. Okay. Yeah, maybe this is good. Uh, again, I will be very happy to read uh, your comments. This part right here is probably a little sad because there actually cannot be anything planted in front of it. Here, we could slightly distract from it. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do a tree here. That is the same tile as the coconut tree. No one would know though, right? But so we could put a tree there and then we could put a tree here. <laughs> I don't know. I love trees a little too much sometimes, I think. All right, we'll leave it the way it is for now. Come back to this another time and focus on a bit more pathing because my hope is just generally that 
once pathing is put down, um, everything else will kind of follow and, you know, fall into place. Uh, and then tree spots, you know, or also I think this can't be one though. I guess it just would have to be on the same tile and then maybe we can have another tree like here, here, maybe here. Um, maybe there. Yeah, maybe these are good tree spots. Uh, do I have any like vines with me? I used to use like vines. Actually, I could use some uh, shells maybe. Conscious. Conscious are also good for potential tree spot saving. Uh, basically, by the way, that just means I sometimes say these things as though it like absolutely makes sense to everyone. Um, basically, sometimes I'm just I cannot be bothered to plant a tree right now, but I kind of already feel like this would be a good tree spot. And so then I take something that can't be planted, such as the conch or vines or I don't know, random, random other bits and pieces. And I just plant them uh, or like I bury them. So they make these little like fossil spots. And then in the, in the future, when I actually dig these up, I will realize that, oh, I apparently wanted these to be tree spots. And then I can put trees in and I don't have to think that much about it, which is actually quite nice. So that's what I do sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then, um, yeah, tree here also, or like, I guess the fence here could be continued because I've used the vertical board fence like behind for her, uh, for her backyard. And then I kind of stopped which I guess there's no real reason for why I stopped. Um, hmm. With the lineup that I have here, I mean, this could be like a small tree or something. It doesn't really have to be though. That could just be a couple of, <laughs> a couple of like flowers or something. I don't think you notice the fence like too much or maybe we'll just kind of stop it like here. If that doesn't look weird from the Front, which I don't think I can get to from here, right? Can I? I think I thought about that before because I was like, maybe I need to take, I need to take a piece of this fence down here. Okay, there we go. Because yeah, if I don't notice this from the front, the fact that there is like a little bit of fence missing, I kind of think that I won't because there will be a tree there. In that case, maybe I'll just end it so it ends with the house. You know? Does that make sense? Am I thinking too much about small little details that no one else is going to care about? Probably. Probably. But here we are. Okay. And then, you know, same thing here with the tree spots. We could have uh, definitely one somewhere along the edge. But that's going to be a bit tough because I don't know how... Oh, yeah, wait. This can't be a tree spot. But this could also... This would be a cute tree spot though, so I guess I would maybe take a bit of the cliff down. Like here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. That makes total sense. My pockets are so full. I need to get rid of all this stuff. None of, none of it was cute anyways, so you know. Uh okay. Maybe here too. And then I, I kind of have this urge of having another tree like somewhere in front here, but I don't think that we should. Oh, so maybe those are going to be the tree spots in the future, kind of at least off towards the right hand side here and off towards the left. Uh, and then we just need to worry about like this little section here and also this part up here. And uh, we are going to worry about the, the pathing path right now, though, not the path up here because this. So for the museum, my plan is to have a bit more of a of an organized, um, I guess, organized like, uh, yeah, typical museum build thing stuff. I don't know how to really describe it, but essentially I'm picturing like um shrubs planted in a circle with like statues or something in the middle and um yeah so it just kind of looks like fancy and everything and then this is supposed to be like a lookout we still need a whole bunch of pathing like connecting these parts which this is also wow the lag that just happened when i got closer to the neighborhood <laughs> wow 
Um, all of this area up here, by the way, will also basically just be filler. Um, I might do another, I was thinking of like a gazebo moment here so that you can kind of just climb down. So there's just like a little bit of an interesting moment. And I might do a couple more, I don't know, when in doubt, then uh, I do like flower, flower stuff, you know, flower farms or like gardens. So we might do something like that over there. Apart from that, it's going to be mostly filler and uh, just like natural things and um, yeah, bits and pieces of pathing. Um, but speaking of path, you know, since we're doing that today, since we are doing that today, I would like to continue. Now, sometimes I have used the sandy one. Let me just actually, oh my God, look at Dilly. Cute. <laughs> He was like, you don't have cushions that I can chill on just yet. I'll just sit under a tree. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, okay. So I've, I've obviously used the planks here. Oh yeah. So when you get closer to the beach, I guess I always kind of used some of the sand pathing. Um, that kind of makes sense. I might want to keep that going. I don't know if I used it in other moments. Also, here is that one. Oh, and I have the tiles too. Okay, tiny little island uh, tour because it's been a while since I've kind of looked at everything too. So here we go. Um, I've definitely used the tiles, which I like for the neighborhood because it gives me like this rundown uh, kind of vibe. And I, oh, you know where else we're going to use the the tiles is, hi Flurry, <laughs> is probably back here with Hornsby's Place because this is supposed to be like a mechanical shop or something. And then we wanted to do this additional like villager plot for... Um, and for anyone who's watching the Let's Play, so you all also have a place to stay on the island. That one's supposed to be here. I think we're probably going to use the tile a bunch more around that part. We've already kind of done some pathing there. Not for... Oh. Oh, I keep forgetting to stunt that tree, huh? And then here, I've definitely used the sand path. Okay, it probably makes sense to use the sand path then over here as well. Why don't we just... Why don't we just, you know, quickly... Quickly do that too. Um, my idea here, uh, is, so this is Dottie's place. Sorry. We're like running all over the island today, but that's okay. We're making a little bit of progress and I love to see that. Um, but so this is Dottie, uh, and Dottie is going to be the sporty one on the island. So she kind of was a, um, very sporty, like I was going to say person, but sporty bunny. Um, but then she had, I think her story was that she had an injury, so she couldn't really continue the way that she wanted to. And so she went over to Callan because, you know, she was supposed to rest. Um, and turns out, you know, that did her like a lot of good. It did her like a, oh, and I have this one. Oh my God. I for, I totally forgot about this. Maybe we can use this by the museum though like the fancy path or something. I don't know. But yeah, so this is living here was definitely very, very good for her. Um, and so she has now taken on just instructing others, you know, and she now helps others stay fit and everything. So uh, this will be her entire area. So I want to do like a yoga area, maybe some volleyball, like lots and lots of beach activities. And so the idea was also just to lead people across the beach. So the path would kind of continue here. And then circle around and then probably go back up to the land like here. I feel like this is probably a good moment. And so from here, that needs to connect over to the um to the bridge. Ooh, which is actually a little interesting because tree spots, you know? Tree spots in this part are kind of hard to do because of the very limited space that we've got. Um because like, oh my God, like this could be a tree maybe. Yeah, cause like, I think back here, none of those can be any trees. So if we want to have any greenery, which maybe we don't, maybe we're just gonna have like one tree like here. I think that could be one, right? Yeah, cause you can run past this. Maybe we're just gonna have one tree here and then nothing back there. A little interesting. Yeah, so I don't know if I want to curve the path out towards the left or the right, but maybe then towards the left, I guess. Okay, so I'll take this corner and go more like here. And then maybe straight, straight. And then, I don't know, inwards? 
Or we could also bring people onto this path again, like here instead. And so then this is completely removed. There might be a few more trees there. That might be nicer, even though right now it kind of feels weird. But like, I think we can adjust that with future um, trees and pathing and, and such. Kind of like that. Okay, now with this great outline, let's try and make that into an actual good path. So here's those corner pieces. I'm gonna need the bottom right ones now, which goes here, maybe here and here. And then I don't know what to do about this here because I don't think I want that all to be pathing. So maybe it would just be this. A little weird, or maybe this is gonna be it. Yeah, maybe this is gonna be it, and then we're just gonna add some, maybe some stones right there. And then we have the straight piece, which goes right there. And I don't think anywhere else. I do need the side piece on the left though for here. Yeah. And then the side piece on the right for this, this, and this. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. And then this would be like a middle tile. Not the cutest, right? It is not the cute. I don't know how to feel about this part back here. Maybe this is just a bit more of a complicated path because it feels a little bit more like it has a bunch of edges. Um... But I think if we have like maybe some trees here, yeah, but I don't know, kind of just so we'll have something, I guess. Um, I have already connect this one and I've already made like a note for myself that we'll be able to walk through here so you don't have to backtrack everything. You can walk in, in a little circle, which is good. And then I completely forgot about the part in the back that we were working on. I just abandoned it because I went to a different area and that is called ADHD. I think so at least, I don't know. Um, all right, here I think we'll use this one again. So, you know, it will go like this, just kind of in the, in the little circle. And then because I don't want to immediately just go straight towards the path, Maybe it'll curve downwards a bit, especially if there's gonna be like another campsite moment here or like another tent, then I think it makes sense to kind of curve downwards a tiny bit. Um, maybe even like so. And then here and here. This, you know what this looks like? This kind of looks like those moments where you have, um, you've you've accidentally deleted one of your codes and then overwritten it with something else <laughs> that's what this looks like right now i swear i didn't though i did not delete anything i didn't accidentally overwrite it with anything i'm just trying to figure out the the shape of my path with a bit of an interesting method usually i put this down and then i still have no idea if it'll work out or if the the end result will still look like terrible you know um, and sometimes I'm lucky and sometimes I'm not, and that's okay. Because this time, see, I feel like this isn't going to work out. It's going to have to be connected earlier, like there, and then not go in such a diagonal straight line towards the bottom. Like this, you see this here? I don't like this. Okay, so we'll do this as a straight piece, I guess. And then I think this will also be like a straight piece. Yeah. Okay, and these are potential middle tiles. What do I do about this here, though? Do I just... Maybe add on to it, like there? Yeah, maybe that would make it, that would make it okay. Alright, let's get the middle tiles. A lot of these are middle tiles. Uh, you are one. You are one. And you are one. All right, and then I still need, I think, the side piece, yes. The side piece, very good. And the bottom side piece, all right. <laughs> all right, okay, anyone's head already smoking? Because mine is a little bit, I won't lie. 
Um, all right, and then maybe on to a couple more tree spots. I think that was actually not the worst thing to plan, especially considering that, you know, this that, that will make the, the decision making and the planning and stuff a bunch easier in the future. If we've got a couple of tree spots already taken care of or like planned. So it's, it's kind of that's kind of nice. Um I guess I want to leave those here. I don't know about like because this can't be a tree because that's too close, right? Yeah. Um I have a feeling I was picturing the coverage from the front a bit differently, but that's okay. And then maybe like that will be a tree. That will be a tree and maybe this will be a tree and maybe that's okay. And then that's going to peek out in between. Maybe even like move way further in. Kind of like this. Yeah, that might be fine. Okay, I did put away my shells, I think. So I'm just going to get a new stack. All right, there we go. Actually, wait, let's let's use something that I won't drop probably. So that I think the cowries, cowries, cow, cow, cow cowries, I think maybe. <laughs> if I'm mispronouncing those, I apologize. Um, But let's use these here. There we go. One, two, three. That's it. And then um, we'll see if maybe this is already one of the areas that we'll work on in the one of the next episodes, like next week. Or if maybe oops, if maybe we will uh, go ahead and work on a few more interiors. We have worked on the the neighborhood like exteriors and there's still a bunch of the villagers who do not have an inside that fits so we still have a bit of work to do there i think the only one who has a fitting one is delhi at the minute um so i definitely want to return there and there's still a couple of other spots also like in between so for example i think that flurry's backyard still needs like a little bit of attention you know uh, which would also help in kind of completing the look for whatever we do behind it and plus there's like a few tiles here uh, so maybe something like that would help and also i think in one of the recent episodes we worked on um yeah we worked on this part here so we also did pathing and we did some trees i think it would make sense to kind of finalize um the entire like shopping shopping area so Maybe that's going to be our focus in one of the next episodes. It's going to be to finalize something a bit more instead of instead of really going for uh, like a completely new area. But we'll see. All right. Um, kind of want to have like a little bit of a of a moment right here. Either something like the flower to indicate that you can stand on it, which I think is actually kind of cute. Or maybe just some tiles. That could also work. Might be, uh, might blend in nicer with the neighborhood, the, the downstairs part, I was going to say, obviously. Yeah, it does blend in nicer. And then maybe like a tree or something. And then here, I think we'll just use the regular like dirt path again. Um haven't used the stones that much uh, like these like sand colored stones i have not used them that much and they might be nice here but i also feel like they're yeah they're good for the museum but i don't want to use them too much either and then this was all like mole cricket mole mole cricket um protection mole cricket protection program that's that's the official name of course <laughs> Okay, tiny bit more path, maybe, you know, since we're on it, why not? It's going to be a little bit tricky, and I have a feeling we might adjust parts of this because of actually wanting to have room for some trees. But for now, we could try and just lay like a little bit of, of pathing. Maybe also just this patch and then break it off and then start another one here. Yeah, let's connect that. I kind of... My picturing abilities for today are already used up. Dang it. It goes so quickly sometimes. You start Animal Crossing, you have all these images, and then you start decorating something and very quickly after it's like, oh, nope, it's all gone. Don't know what I wanted to do here, actually. <laughs> but the good thing is you can just put it down and open it back up another day, which is kind of nice. If this needs to be another piece, this needs to be another piece. 
And then I think it might be too repetitive. Mm hmm. You need a corner piece still. Here. And a middle piece. Well, yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a, a tough, a tougher moment. Yeah, I think I'd like this to actually be a little bit further, like down to this side. Like extend a bit further and so it'll curve, I guess, like this. And then there's going to be another one here. And then maybe like that. Yeah, let's try this instead. So that would be corner piece. Um, and then ooh, wait, like this would be a corner piece. This would be a corner piece. Yes. And then ooh, I was going to say that was the wrong one because still use it. That's good. <laughs> that is good. We do need this one maybe here. And then maybe we could just plant like a flower there. You just have to circle around the flower because it's going to be very important. Um, ooh, and also individual, individual, oh, dang it. Individual tiles would work here, but I was thinking of connecting them. So I need, dang it, I messed up. Um, I need this one. Oh yeah, that's a bit cuter though. All right, compared to before, I think this is a bit cuter. And then this could stay like that. And then the next tile, this is on half a tile, right? That's going to be super awkward to, to work with. Yeah, and then this is how I usually do pathing. I don't know why, like, recently I haven't been doing quite, this quite as much. Usually I stand down like that, um, which is very nice, but I'm not going to lie. It sometimes, like, as soon as you've understood how it places pathing, it can be awesome and much faster than using your, like, pathing tool. But also, when you don't have it, like, 100% down, uh, or there's sometimes certain things in the way, like the seat there a second ago, then it can be kind of annoying. And then you have to wipe everything away again. And then that's just kind of not really, not really great. Alrighty. And um, there is the corner piece. There is a middle piece and then another corner piece. And I think this is where we might leave it for today, just because I don't know. I don't know how this will continue. It does need to lead over here to this point. We could already mark this with the end pieces right there. And then it also, um, yeah, I, maybe this will be like the, the main one. So these will just connect over here and then there will be something in addition that leads you to this point so that you can still get to the viewing platform. And maybe also this little like hidden gazebo spot. <laughs> Maybe another like lover's retreat moment. And then if it looks good, I don't know if it will because maybe it doesn't actually look quite as official as I thought. But if it looks good, then we might be using this path right here for the museum Um, leading up to this. And then I guess. Oh, my God. See, why did it go there? <laughs> that made no sense to me right there. Um, yeah, and then either just to connect the incline with the museum or also to connect the museum over to the tent moment that we built earlier. Um, I think that would probably make sense to at least use the same path on this platform, not change in between. It's not that wide of a platform either, so that should probably work. Alrighty, and I think with all this pathing work today and a little bit of planning, a little bit of overviewing and a potential, um, yeah, area idea, uh, I'm going to call it a day. I have a slight headache. Today was my first day back at work after my week off. So I feel like, you know, the body is kind of like, wait, what's happening? Um, but I still definitely wanted to play and hop on today and record another episode. And I do think we've done some good progress. This was empty before, so you know, it's, it's really, uh, really not bad. I hope you enjoyed it today, even though it was such a bit of a random, yeah, random progress and filler and I don't know, pathing video. I do still hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe so that you don't miss the next episodes where we, of course, do much more exciting stuff than today. <laughs> and then I hope that you all have an amazing, amazing time until I see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.